Uh, what do you think we'll try for my first day back at work? I don't want to pick. Why? Because I don't want you to go back. Oh, honey, that's so sweet. But come on, which one? Here, put that stuff down. Put it down. Come here. Yes. <laughs> Oh. Mm. 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 Since this is our last night together before all the craziness begins again. Mike, mm -hmm. you know what I want to do now? I hope so. Let's do it out on the balcony. What? Why? Well, I don't know. Don't you want to shake things up? Out there? People can see. Yeah, yeah, that's the danger. <laughs> God. Kim, I don't really do this for the danger. Come on, I mean, I love how we make love, you know, but do we have to do it the same way every time? It's like having bacon and eggs for breakfast every morning. For God's sake, Mike, we're young. Let's have a waffle. <laughs> Why does everything with you always have to be different, better, more? I because the opposite of that is the same, worse, less. <laughs> okay. You want to go out there? Let's go out there. Oh, no, goody, we're going to be bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kim. I, I just can't do it. So the neighbors are having a party. So what? <laughs> No hugs here, Kim. As much as I'd like to hold you in my arms and smell that wonderful hair of yours, I just can't. I'm trying to avoid all human contact. Well, after that little speech, no problem. As you know, Kim, I'm a student of all religions, but I realized the one I was neglecting was Judaism. Maybe because of Gary, I don't know. Anyway, during our time off, I started tripping out on the Kabbalah, the mm. Jewish book of mysticism. It teaches that the way to grasp the divine, which you know is kind of a hobby of mine, <laughs> is to remove all earthly distractions from one's path, both emotional and physical. So in other words, not getting any brings you closer to God. <laughs> I sure hope so. Otherwise, the joke's on me. So, what did you do during the break, Gary? What break? I was working my ass off. Mm. Patty redid the entire house, so to pay for the whole thing, I was reduced to writing episodes of Xena, Warrior Princess. You ever seen it? Oh. Huh? She's like this female Hercules that runs around the countryside emasculating her enemies. Did, did I just say emasculating? Of course, I meant vanquishing. Vanquishing. <laughs> Hey, guys! Whoa, whoa. Oh, hey, you look ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, see, this is what happens to you when you've been traveling around the country with your girlfriend. Oh, you all remember the lovely and talented Shannon following a rock band around for two months. Yeah, one night you're out uh, doing tequila shooters with the Foo Fighters. It's fun, it's cool. I mean, you can't even hardly believe you're there. And then somewhere around 3 a.m., Shannon makes a little suggestion about my appearance. And I start to think, you know, she's right. I am tired of looking like some corn pone kid from Toledo. I want to look like Bo Derek. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm the most pathetic man alive. Ah, you may think you are, Robbo, but now that Patty has the show place that she's always wanted, we're renewing our wedding vows there Saturday night. Hey, no, 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 no. Hold your applause until I'm finished. You see, between the refurbishing and the wedding, I'm out 50 grand to live in a house I'm not comfortable in, and to remarry my own wife. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So, Kimmy, what'd you do all summer? Well, all year long, I worked those insane hours. Mike was really great about it, so I really wanted to just take the two months off and indulge him, you know, do whatever he wanted to do. So first, we went to Carlsbad Caverns. <laughs> Carlsbad Caverns, what's that like? Okay, everybody close your eyes. You're there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It wasn't what I would have picked, but Mike's always wanted to go there, you know. So at first it was a little slow, but then we met a lot of really fun elderly people. <laughs> then 
we came back home and mainly just hung out, you know, watched a lot of TV, had dinner together every night. I even cracked open a cookbook. <laughs> Mike wanted us to be like a normal couple, and apparently that's what they do. <sighs> now, even though it wasn't my kind of thing, I feel great knowing that Mike was so happy. You know, as a couple, you sometimes have to do things you wouldn't ordinarily do to make the other person happy. Well, I did it. Now it's over. <laughs> anyway, I got that network meeting. I'll see you guys later. Hey, great to be back. I give those two about a month. I've been to Carlsbad Cavern. <laughs> This is the house that Xena built. I <laughs> uh, should have figured. Another Hollywood function, and I'm the only guy in a suit. Just so there's no misunderstanding, when I get married, I'm putting suit and tie on the invitation. Really? Oh, I always wanted to get married on the beach in Hawaii. You know, low key, everybody barefoot. Ah, a cookie wedding. Okay. <laughs> there's nothing kooky about that, as long as there's a lot of love and warmth. What difference does it make? Just because it's not traditional, you think it's kooky. Oh, come on, Kim. You're standing ankle deep in water. Some old lady's playing a ukulele. To you, it's warm and loving. To everybody else, it's my socks are wet. You miss the days when men wore hats every day, Mike. <laughs> hey, 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 guys. guys. How you doing? Uh, Shannon. Have you seen the portrait? No, a portrait. Come here. Oh, mother of God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you think of Queen Patty and her tennis coach? You have a dog? I uh, know. Patty made him rent it for the portrait. <laughs> Why? Uh, I think she wanted to show that she has domain over the entire animal kingdom. <laughs> I love dogs. You know, one time I was driving really fast, and from out of nowhere, I just clipped this dog. So I went back to find him, but he wasn't there anymore. I, I couldn't find him. He was, like, gone. <laughs> Great story. Hey, guys. Hey, oh, Gary. Hi, Gary. Congratulations. So, how do you like it? I call it Woman and Her Dog. And there's also a Dalmatian in there. <laughs> Come on, Gary. It looks fine. Oh, yeah, this painting's fine, but, you know, the big one is upstairs. You're kidding. No, go see it. Go see it. Yeah, but take the stairs at your own risk. What do you mean? <laughs> oh. A little slippery. Yeah. It's a marble staircase. You see, Nothing in here is actually functional, but it is all incredibly expensive. Here, check this out. Patty went to New York for the Jackie O auction. Look at this. Look at this. Jackie's toilet paper dispenser. $6,000. Oh, yeah, I said, honey, are you sure this is necessary? She said, Gary, uh, every flip of the roll brings me back to Camelot. <laughs> of the funniest story. Okay, one time I was in this gas station on the way to Vegas, and there was no toilet paper. So there I am just like sitting there. And, and she had to use a dollar bill, okay? <laughs> Sorry to spoil the story, but it's a long one with many twists and turns. And it was my last dollar. You got that part out too, good, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Oh, hey, hey, Neil. Hey, Neil. Oh, so you got the dispenser. <laughs> Gary, we're about to begin. Please, take your places. Everyone, gather around the huffa. So, Gary, you ready? Well, uh, Patty and I are getting along better than we ever have before, so we might as well strike while the iron's hot. Oh, come on, Gary, you love her. Yeah, I do, but I also believe that all couples, no matter how secure they think they are, are only five sentences away from breaking up at any time. Come on, five sentences? You don't really believe that. Oh, yeah, I've seen it happen. And the first sentence is always, if that's the way you really feel, then what are you doing with me? You hear that? Start counting, because it is straight into the toilet from there. Okay, wish me luck. 